Oh my god, you have one job, PC! We turned off everything! Update faster, you fu- Well... Fu- As our laptops get older, performance takes a serious hit. Startup times get longer, battery life gets shorter, and response times become increasingly sluggish until they're deemed no longer usable, so you banish them into the drawer for eternity. But what if we could bring them back to life faster than ever? Our guinea pig is this 10 year old Toshiba laptop L500. You can pick up one of these on eBay for just £32. To give you an idea of how tight we are for specs, it's got a first generation Intel i3 and only 4 gigs of RAM. How are we going to make this run like new? With Linux. Just like Mac and Windows, Linux is another operating system with a major advantage for older laptops. It's a lot lighter. On Windows, if you open Task Manager, even if you're not using any programs currently, there's still a ton of background processes eating up almost half your RAM. Linux has significantly less bloatware. On top of that, it's much more secure and customizable, but we'll focus on that in some later episodes. In this episode, we're going to show you how to install Ubuntu step by step. To install Ubuntu, you're going to need a memory stick with an operating system on it. This is called a bootable memory stick. To make one of these, all you need is a memory stick with at least 4GB of space, a program called Rufus, and the Ubuntu ISO file. The download links for the last two are in the description below. Make sure nothing important is on this memory stick, as it will be completely erased before loading the operating system. Now, plug in the memory stick and open up Rufus. In the device field, select your memory stick if it's not already selected. In the boot selection, select FreeDOS. Now, press this select button here, and click the Ubuntu ISO file that was downloaded earlier. Looks like we're ready to go. Hit start, and then you may come across a window like this. Click yes. Click ISO image mode, and now click OK. Now get your old laptop, plug in the memory stick, turn it on and navigate to your boot menu. This is how we're going to install the new OS from the memory stick. Often this means either pressing F2 or F12 when you see your manufacturer's logo on the screen. For this Toshiba, I have to press F12. Now we've reached the boot menu. When you normally turn on your PC, it automatically loads the operating system from the computer's main hard drive. Today, we're going to load the operating system we've put on the memory stick instead. Use the arrow keys to select your memory stick and hit enter. You'll be greeted with this loading screen. This takes a few minutes until you finally get to the first part of the installation process. With Ubuntu, you can choose to either have a demo and try it out, or install it straight away. We'll click the install button. Now you have to select your keyboard layout. Laptops from different countries have different keyboard layouts, so make sure you select the right one and test it out in this field here to confirm that it works. This part is pretty simple, just log into your Wi-Fi like on any other device. In this screen, you have the option to control how much software is installed with the operating system. I'd recommend selecting normal installation to make sure you have everything you need initially, and click this button to download updates while installing Ubuntu. Also select install third party software to guarantee that everything will work from the get go. Regarding installation, you can either install Ubuntu alongside the current operating system or replace it altogether. 
the laptop we've got is pretty low on specs, so we're going to replace the operating system today. Select your location, and now you've got to enter some final details, starting with your name and your PC's name. This is what other devices see when connecting to the PC. Then you've got your username and password. Make sure your password is easy to remember, because you'll need it when installing any new programs. Next week, I'll show you how to install the important programs such as Google Chrome and Zoom, so do subscribe to stay tuned for that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone else who might like it. For now, that's me out and I'll see you later.